I'll reveal which of these is real and which is virtual at the end of the video. But to achieve this shot, we're using some cutting edge virtual production tech here at MR Factory, a highly innovative virtual production studio based out of Madrid. The technology in question is CyberGaffer from Anti-Latency, a new and unique way of doing lighting for virtual production. CyberGaffer is about to take full control of the lighting rig here at MR Factory and then match the light in their studio to any Unreal Engine scene. All of the lights that were up on the ceiling are now here at ground level and they're trying to find a good arrangement for them when you want to change the lighting for a scene you don't want to be moving the lights around every setup the whole point of cyber gaffer is so you can do different lighting setups quicker and there's a whole bunch of sky panel x and lupo lights here which are all connected to unreal engine via dmx and then cyber gaffer is going to sample the light from unreal engine and pump it into the studio right here we're here with peter from anti-latency first of all peter can you tell us a little bit about what CyberGaffer is and how it works. Basically, CyberGaffer is a lighting technique that can capture your physical lights in your studio. And then using these lights, it will reconstruct lighting based on Unreal Engine scene. We have a calibration sphere to measure lighting in the studio, in physical studio, and we'll create mathematically most closest match between virtual lighting and physical lighting. The material on here, I do want to touch on this. Yeah, th this is very spe uh, special material. It is uh, uh, basically, it's a fabric and we can reconstruct this kind of materials in the Unreal Engine to have exact match with the physical and uh, virtual objects. And this helps to reconstruct lighting. Can we change the lights a little bit? <laughs> There's the sunlight being moved. And of course you can see all of the fixtures are changing relative to what's happening right now in Unreal. People can literally walk into this space and the lighting on them will match the virtual environment perfectly. It's really quite magical actually. Then when you're in Unreal, you can just move the scene around and the lighting in here will move dynamically and update in real time. So if you want to change location or you want to move to another part of a scene or just open a new scene entirely, all of the lighting in here will just update for you. And the match is really quite amazing. I'm personally very keen, and I'm sure a lot of you are, on what the application for something like CyberGaffer would be in a small space, something with a small footprint. What is necessary to bring something like this into a small studio? What is the biggest problem with uh, small studios uh, is the distance to the light source. Obviously, if we come twice closer to the light source, it becomes four times brighter. Potentially, we can solve that by tracking a person in the studio uh, and dynamically adjust the brightness of light fixtures uh, to maintain the calculated light. I mean, obviously, this is huge implications for small spaces, but, which is a great thing, but even for larger spaces, because you dramatically increase the amount of space. We can have. utilize the most of the area in the studio by, by doing this. Okay, roll camera. So we did a few tests. One of them was this virtual gallery scene, and it was really fun to work with the team here and create this little sequence. And again, the light match is strong, but I did have an ulterior motive coming to MR Factory for these tests. I really want to try Gaussian splats. Gaussian splats are incredibly realistic. They're essentially 3D photographs. And because of this, I think it would be a huge missed opportunity if we didn't test them with CyberGaffer, so we get the best of both worlds. That could create the most realistic match we've seen yet. But there are challenges around Gaussian splats that we are running into. One of them is that they don't illuminate anything within Unreal. So there's actually nothing for CyberGaffer to hook onto to tell it what the lighting should actually be. I'm out here to do an impromptu Gaussian splat and it's raining and windy and that's not ideal so we'll see what the results are like in a moment but the rain is coming down it's hitting me from this direction so i'm going to shoot mainly into that corner we're not going to do a full environment we're just going to do that bit over there and we've got a lens hood on and my friend has an umbrella let's see how this goes and while we're out here we're going to capture an hdri as well because if cybergaffer can't read gaussian splats they might be able to read an hdri instead so the splat that we created earlier has now been trained it is in post shot We've done a little bit of cleanup and now it's actually looking pretty good considering that we didn't take that many photographs and had to deal with wind and rain. This whole thing probably would have ended up being a lot better if we had more images, but I'm actually quite pleased with it. We're just putting it into Unreal, enabling the CyberGaffer plugin. That's why the studio is currently dark. Once it's enabled, I'll be able to show you this side by side, real versus virtual.
<laughs> I'm sure most of you could tell which was which. But I want you to look past the imperfections at this stage. That Gaussian was filmed and captured this morning. The lighting match with CyberGaffer and the test was all filmed in the same day. And since we recorded this, MR Factory have created some amazing new tests. Just look at these. This lighting match is incredible. The integration is believable and the splat quality is much higher. Just imagine the quality potential of this when we're able to have moving Gaussians, 4D Gaussians, relightable Gaussians with the amazing relighting capabilities of CyberGaffer. We're going to be able to find ways to shrink this technology and put it in the hands of more people. That's what I'm most excited about.